There's so much going on this weekend. Uh, a lot of activity downtown. And uh, I think one of the cornerstones of the activity is something that's been going on for years now, and that is the Springfield Old Capital Art Fair. Uh, and this is something that if you haven't been to it, uh, maybe you're new to town. I don't know, but uh, you need to get down there because uh, artisans galore and uh, it's all going to be on display at the Old State Capitol. Uh, something that I think is just uh, pretty incredible to see in person. So make that happen and also pick up some collections. I mean, you got Father's Day coming up. Uh, maybe you need to you know, get something for your mom that you forgot to get a couple of weeks ago. Uh, or you just need something to, to freshen up your abode. You can do that uh, at the Old Capital Art Fair. And um, we're joined now by Julie Beveridge. She is the chair of the art fair. Joining us on WMAY, Julie, thanks for taking time. And this is a big deal. It's back. Thank you. We are so excited to be back. So for those who aren't familiar, uh, like I said, they probably haven't been in town, um, but uh, tell us what it is. Uh, it is an art festival that's run Saturday and Sunday in downtown Springfield around the Old State Capitol Plaza. It's pretty short and sweet. Um, how many uh, artists are there? We um, have over 100 artists, uh, about 30 new artists this year as well. Oh, wow. So 100 different artists mm -hmm. all in one location. Uh, tell us about the different types of art that people are going to see. There's oil paintings, sculptures, uh, jewelry, lawn art. You name it, it's probably there this weekend. Is there any cost for people who just want to peruse? Nope, no cost at all. There's Look no cost that. even for our entertainment. You can come down and just listen to some great bands this weekend, too. So uh, this is just one of the many things going on in downtown Springfield. So you can go hit up the art fair, and then you can go and take a break and go check out Pride Fest, and then go back to the art fair. Uh, and uh, it's all going to be happening in downtown Springfield. Uh, tell us some of the artists you've got, uh, the music acts that you've got lined up. Um, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. Michael Walk is in charge of our entertainment section, and he has lined up eight to nine great artists for the weekend for well, us. And we know Micah personally, uh, so his tastes exactly. are impeccable, uh, so he'll be able to uh, line that up that's just why I fine. have no problem leaving him in charge of this. <laughs> Good deal. Uh, Julie Beveridge with us here. She is the chair of the Springfield Old Capital Art Fair. Uh, going on this weekend, what days? This Is it all weekend long? It's Saturday from 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. All right. So Saturday and Sunday, uh, downtown Springfield for the Old Capital Art Fair. Some cool things going on here. All right. So it's not just, you know, 100 plus artists, and all kinds of different mixed media and whatnot, uh, but you've also got uh, the children's tent. Let's talk about that for a bit. Children's tent is great. This is where I grew up volunteering with my mom, who was the organizer of that tent, and then I became involved in it as well. And it's a great place for the kids to go and purchase art from the artists that are at our fair. And we sell their pieces for four, five, and six dollars. And the kids get to walk around with a volunteer, and they get to pick out whatever is interests them without any parental influence. <laughs> <laughs> Except for maybe the five or six dollars that the parent gives well, yes. them, and okay, all right, yeah, because <laughs> so, the kids come out of the tent just beaming with pride of what they've bought. And well, and, and and talk about how that I guess does it help foster a sense of valuing art. I think so, because these kids get to see what they're interested in, and they get to have their own expressions, and then it just goes from years. I can't tell you how many people have said to me, I remember back when I was a kid how many pieces I still have. It's uh, something I, I think a lot of kids are going to get into, uh, just being able to take some money and, and find what kind of art they like and then buying it. Uh, and they'll probably cherish that for, for years and years and years. Who knows? It might end up in their dorm room uh, years later. We're talking with Julie Beveridge. She is the chair of the Old Capital Art Fair going on downtown Springfield Saturday and Sunday. Just one of several big events going on in and around the area in downtown Springfield this weekend. Uh, something else, Julie, that's going on at the Old Capital Art Fair is is the community mural. You were telling me a little bit off the air about this, but uh, what exactly is this community mural that you guys are going to be doing? So this was started about 10 years ago, and it was a project where we pick a piece of art and we cut that up into squares, and the community gets to paint those squares. So it's kind of like a paint by numbers. And at the end of it, it's displayed on a large easel that's magnetic and you stick your piece up on there and it comes together to make a large display of what the painting was. How many squares are available? I believe we were looking at 125. Oh wow, wow. How do people get those squares? You just come on over to the corner. It's at 4th and Adams this year. And the paint and everything's Everything's provided. all provided. Okay, great. Yep, you just have to bring your creativity to paint. Do we know what the, uh, what the mural is going to be based off of? 
Has that been um, revealed yet? It has not. Okay, so <laughs> we'll uh, see it that weekend. So nobody can cheat. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> Uh, but what's cool about that is, of course, uh, you're, you're bringing in a whole bunch of different ideas and different perspectives, and each person's going to have their own little square. And then in a mosaic type fashion, that's going to be on display. Yes. This is just the whole weekend is for the community, and this is just one more way to bring the community together. Fantastic. Uh, Julie Beveridge, chair of the Springfield Old Capital Art Fair, going on Saturday and Sunday. Give us the times again. Saturday, 10 to 5, Sunday, 10 to 4. Greatly appreciate it. And thank you so much for taking time and being flexible. I do thank have to say, you. I mean, I was supposed to have them on at 7.50, and I, uh, you know, I screwed up my scheduling. What do you want me to do? I mean, it's, it's I run this show uh, uh, all by myself. All right. Uh, Julie, thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. it. We'll talk again. I'll see you down there because I uh, definitely need to make that happen. I'll right? be down there all weekend. Awesome. Fantastic. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop.